Hi. We've done a couple of videos on LRAD, which stands for Long Range Acoustic Device. The videos were very popular. We got a lot of positive comments, but we got a number of very negative comments. The theme behind those negative impressions was that producing, generating, and instructing people on how these work indicated our political stance, and that's not true. I can demonstrate how to throw a punch or how to throw a block, but both of those techniques can be used for defensive purposes because at this channel, we believe in the non-aggression principle. Do not initiate force against another. Walk softly, but carry a big stick. And so in the first video where we showed you some of the physical principles of how acoustic projectors work and went through the construction and assembly of this unit and how you can put one of these things together for a low cost, in the second video, we went out in the field and in an industrial park, took this behind our warehouse and demonstrated it to a bunch of volunteers. We had a lot of fun. Today, what I'm gonna do is show you some techniques that can be used to defend or protect yourself against high acoustic pressure projectors. And so the simplest technique is to use distance. Farther away uh, from the source that you get, the quieter it gets. And the sound pressure will drop six decibels every time you double your distance from the source. So distance is great, but sometimes you don't have the flexibility or ability to get away from it or get away quickly enough. Another technique is to use earplugs. These are just standard foam plugs that insert in your ears. They're very good sound obstruction uh, methods and they're disposable and very lightweight. You can put them in your pocket. Another technique is just a standard pair of shop headphones. Use these whenever you're gonna be using a saw or something that generates a lot of noise and you wanna protect your hearing, very inexpensive. Another technique is to use electronic headphones. Now this doesn't follow the same sort of phase interference methodology that say Bose uses in its uh, acoustic headphones, where you're actually producing a negative phase sound to, generate, to uh, nullify the sound pressure around you. What these are is simply very good mechanical headphones that include both a speaker and a microphone that allow you to dial up your ability to detect ambient sound up to four times as loud as your normal hearing. You can actually hear better with these on, but they reach a threshold and so above a certain point, they won't amplify anymore. So they protect your ears from loud sounds, but allow you to hear the ambient sounds. These Howard Light headphones cost about $60 and they're frequently used by shooters at a range. So you can hear ambient sounds around you, the instructors, other people on the range, but at the same time you protect your hearing. Another technique is to use a face shield. There might be some ability with a simple face shield to protect you because it may, in fact, deflect some of the sound pressure away from your ears. We're gonna test that today. And finally, we're gonna test a polycarbonate riot shield, see if that has the same effect of th as this or even better. And so in order to do the tests, what we're gonna do is set this up outside and at a distance, I'm gonna have Alex stand away from the projector and we're gonna see how close at a very low setting he can comfortably get with certain levels of protection and see what the effectiveness of these different techniques turns out to be. So let's get this set up outside and we'll start the demonstrations. All right, we've got it set up now. So what I've done is I've turned this way down to only 10% output. Obviously, I don't want to hurt anybody. And Alex is standing about 20 meters away, and we're going to have him approach this until he gets to the point where he says, I can't stand this anymore, and I'll turn it off. Right now, he's not wearing anything, just normal, natural hearing. So here we go. All right, so we have a little marker, nothing. All right. All right, now the next step is he's gonna put some of the ear foam obstructors in and let's see how that sounds. Ready?
All right, so let's mark where the plugs are. Now, if you look, because he's about twice as, twice as close, that means he's got about six decibels more sound protection from the earplugs. The next is going to be a standard set of shop headphones. All right, so even though the earplugs are supposed to protect pretty well, probably the fact that they don't wrap around the head very well. Now, if this keeps getting closer and closer, I may actually turn the volume up as we get to more effective sound protection. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try the electronic headphones and he's gonna have it dialed off. So they're just basically a pair of plain headphones without any electronic uh, system running. So it turns out they work just about as effectively as the very inexpensive shop headphones without the electronic feature. Now what he's going to do is he's going to hook up the uh, microphone and see if that interferes with it or it still operates just as well. All right, here we go. That's interesting. So with the electronic headphones switched on, the, the amplification um, ceiling doesn't seem to be working. If anything, it's amplifying everything, and it's worse than not even wearing the headphones. That's, that's interesting. All right, before we start this test with just the face shield and no hearing protection, I'm just going to review those four uh, markers that we have on the ground. The very worst was the electronic headphones with their electronic feature enabled. The next is without hearing protection. The next is wearing the ear, pl the ear plugs, the foam plugs. And finally, just the inexpensive pair of shop headphones. Now he's just got the face shield on with no hearing protection. All right, so it looks like the face shield might have benefited him a little bit, but not much. It's a close call. All right, so now no hearing protection and the riot shield. That's interesting. So the face shield obviously helped a little bit, but the riot shield seemed to make a really big difference. And I guess the final test is to combine the very best of both. We'll use the standard set of headphones. We'll go ahead and we'll test it with the uh, riot shield and see how much closer he can get. We might also adjust the volume up and see if we can determine at a greater distance uh, where the limit is with that compared to, say, the limit without any kind of protection at all, which might be kind of interesting.
He's coming quickly and he's smiling. <laughs> All right, I think we have our answer. Clearly the Riot Shield and the standard headphones are overwhelmingly good. I think what might be kind of interesting, just to do another test before we review the, the overall, is I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit and set them all the way back and find out if we can actually keep him away from this system if we have that kind of level of protection. And I'm going to turn this thing up to uh, <laughs> beyond stun. Whoa. This right now is at about 50%. That's a pretty loud level. I didn't go to max. Oh, that isn't max? No. Okay. I'm yeah, going to try max. Yeah, try okay. Yeah. All right, back up just in case because yeah. this is kind of sketchy. All right, make sure you're ready. That was interesting. So it looks like if you wear the, the regular set of headphones and the riot shield, you can basically get close enough, you can almost touch the LRAD, and that thing is putting out 153 decibels at one meter, which without any kind of hearing protection, that will damage your eardrums. So not a bad combination. Um, also, in your opinion, if you take off the headphones so you can hear me, <laughs> do you think that the, the face shield did anything? Uh, Yes, uh, but not nearly as much as the riot shield. And what's good about the riot shield is you can sort of direct it in front of your head. The face shield, if you happen to turn the wrong direction, you're you're screwed. That you can sort of keep around you wherever the sound's coming from. Uh, and you notice that the 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 face shield did make an effect. It did, like uh, yeah, it definitely had an effect. But that the, that's a lot better. Maybe uh, the sound was able to sort of get around it more. There's less like area coverage area that the riot shield has. Um, headphone wise again the electronic feature on the headphone for some reason there's some feedback I don't know what it is with the uh, microphone or something like that that uh, it's actually way more painful than without headphones it's worse than nothing right you couldn't even get as close yeah, yeah something else I noticed when you got close with the riot shield is that I could hear the sound much louder even with my own headphones on it was reflecting off the riot shield and it got a lot louder which kind of suggests there might be um, a somewhat less passive means of dealing with this, and that is that the riot shield is designed as a curve to sort of diffuse whatever is going to strike it away from you. But I wonder if you were to turn the riot shield around and act as sort of a cylindrical reflector, if it would have an effect to actually send the sound back to the source. So one last test I want to try is to see if he holds the riot shield in reverse facing me does it make it a heck of a lot louder and almost unusable uh the lred unusable to the person who's operating the controls so that'll be the last test that we run here so i got it up at full volume so i'm going to definitely have these on he's going to start from a fairly good distance away and then as he approaches i'm going to see if i can detect any kind of difference in the sound pressure oh Wow! <laughs> wow! Aim it right at me! Uh, that works! 
that is impressive and it's very very directional when he took the riot shield and he was uh, aim using it the way that it's intended to be used I could definitely detect an increase in sound pressure but again with this protection behind the device no problem when he turned it around and it act acted as a cylindrical reflector it was highly directional when he would move it around I wouldn't notice anything and then all of a sudden it would peak and it got a lot louder uh, to the point where I actually had to throw my hand up uncle um, that's very interesting so I suspect were you noticing that you still had the same level of protection when it was in that direction or not yeah, really a difference there's a difference it, 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 less than five percent you can't really tell so you could use a riot shield in reverse <laughs> Uh, but it affects the person on the other side more aggressively. So that's kind of interesting. So anyway, we're not trying to create weapons. What we're basically doing is having a lot of fun messing around with the different kind of effects of these different uh, ways to deal with the acoustic pressure from a really powerful device like this. And uh, you learned with us that there's some interesting techniques that can be used not only to prevent you from damaging your hearing, but also to allow you to use the right equipment those electronic headphones wonderful in the shop i love them and i use them all the time now but uh, definitely you wouldn't want to use them if you're going to be exposed to this so the the system simply either isn't sensitive enough or it isn't quick enough to deal with the chirp that might be part of the problem but in any case definitely you wouldn't want to use those the portable headphones the little earplugs are certainly nice because you can carry a pocket full of them and the regular headphones for about five or six dollars uh, you can use them for a number of different purposes and we're actually the most effective method the best method is stay out of situations where you're going to be facing one of these devices. Uh, they're obviously potentially harmful. They could be a little dangerous if you get very close. And I'm just going to advise everybody to stay safe, try to stay out of trouble, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon.